my lady, come come my lady, you're my butterfly, sugar, baby. What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is going to be just a fun and flirty summer fashion haul. I've done a couple of these fashion videos for you guys before and you really seem to like them. These are the pieces that I've been picking up over the past couple of months for summer. I'm one of those readers that shops for summer clothes in like March and April as soon as the brands release them, even if it's not warm yet because I'm always worried that my size is going to sell out. And I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time, but these videos do take me a pretty long time to make. But my procrastination has actually paid off because not only are these products still available online, but many of them are actually on sale. Some of them are on like mega sales. So if you guys want to see some cute clothes that I picked up and hear about some really great fashion deals, then keep watching. And if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. My name is Sophia and this is my channel where we talk about all things beauty and luxury. I usually upload content every single week on all the new luxury beauty releases. I cover a lot of luxury makeup, high-end makeup, Sephora brands, but I also do cute little fashion hauls like this. I love fashion. I love handbags, unboxings. I kind of spend my money so that you don't have to. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely hit that subscribe button to join our fam. We have so, so much fun on this channel. And you can also hit the notification bell to hear about every time I upload a new video. If you like this style of video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. I am going to be linking everything that I mentioned in this video in the description box down below. Not all, but most of my links are affiliate links. So when you shop through those links, it's a really great way to support my channel. I already did all the work for you guys. I scoured the internet. I looked up every single retailer that sells these pieces, whether they be in this color or another color. And I also tried to do my best to find the ones that were on sales to find you guys the best deals. So you definitely don't have to, but if you want to support my channel and you want to pick up something that I mentioned today, those affiliate links are there for you to use. All right, friends, let's get into this summer fashion haul. I feel like I have a good mix of kind of like chic and sophisticated, a little bit dressy. Some of these things you could wear to a wedding, but then also just some really fun, flirty, sexy vacation wear. So I feel like we have a little something for everybody in this haul. I am going to put all of the sizing information and my measurements in the description box down below. And I'll also comment in this video, which of the pieces I've already had tailored or which ones I feel like I need to have tailored just so that it can kind of help you guys figure out what size you might need to get. I'm going to scooch just over to the side here so I can put in my model shots for you guys. I did try on everything that I'm going to be talking about in this haul today. So you guys can see what it looks like on my frame. The first brand that I'm featuring in this haul is Mara Hoffman. You guys would have seen me try on one of her dresses in my last fashion haul. I really like Mara Hoffman because all of her products are very feminine. I feel like they work for a lot of different body types. She has extended sizing and then her fabrics that she uses are also fully sustainable. So she does use a lot of like cottons, linens, that kind of stuff. And the outfit that I want to show you guys is this adorable little matching set. I love matching sets in the summer because I just can't be bothered to put together an outfit, especially if I'm going traveling, if I'm on vacation. I like something where I can just throw it together. Like I already know what top goes with the bottom. Does anybody else feel that way? Now this outfit is comprised of a cute little linen skirt which ties at the waist. It's very adjustable and it also comes with this cute little matching crop top. Now this is made of kind of like a substantial linen. I will mention Mara Hoffman. It's sustainable fabric but because it's sustainable fabric a lot of her products do crease and wrinkle so I usually have to just kind of steam this right before I put it on. I found this in three different colors. The most popular does seem to be this olive. There are limited sizes so I recommend if you're interested in this definitely kind of check it out sooner rather than later but I also link down below. It comes in a beautiful black and then they didn't have this when I was shopping but it also comes in this really really pretty blue and white kind of like Roman Greco type of print that you can find on Moda Operandi. Now I'm pretty sure these specific products at least at the time of me filming this video are not on sale yet. If I can find them on sale I will link them down below but I have linked all of the colorways so that you guys can find what works best for you. I find that with Mara Hoffman her sizes do run big so for me I tend to be like a zero, a double zero and it does seem like a lot of the time those are the sizes that sell out first. I also want to call out that I did get the crop top tailored. I have very small shoulders and so I got the extra extra small. I had my tailor shorten the straps and I also had him take it in just a little bit so it kind of fit me perfectly. So I do want to mention that if you are a little bit bustier, I actually think that this crop top would be really good for you. I think this would be a really beautiful flattering fit that kind of enhances the waist. It flares out and I feel like this top as well, unlike a lot of other crop tops we see out there, it gives you like a decent amount of coverage like it's covering the chest it's covering most of the chest and then you get the high-waisted skirt so super cute outfit from Mara Hoffman if I can find any deals for you guys on this I will link them down below that and the dress that I featured in my other video were the only things that I got from Mara Hoffman but I have a couple of pieces I got from her last year she has really really great stuff the next brand that I want to talk about is 
Ula Johnson. I don't know if you guys have shopped from this brand before. I always see her products when I'm scouring Shopbox. Her products are so unbelievably gorgeous. If you like prints, if you like super flirty feminine kind of styles, then I think you're really gonna like Ula Johnson. The quality is there. It is really expensive, but most of the styles that I'm gonna show you guys today, they are on sale and you can get some really, really good deals. So let me show you what I picked up. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is this gorgeous silk jumpsuit. I love the print on this. The quality is definitely there. This is not a cheap jumpsuit. It's made of this beautiful, soft, luxurious silk. I love these styles of jumpsuits in the summer, specifically because I can wear it all day. Put it on in the day, maybe wear it with some sandals, maybe wear it with some sneakers, go out, have fun, etc. And then at night, you can show up at the bar, you can go out to dinner. You're still looking chic, especially since it's this kind of darker color. This also comes in a, like a lighter color version, which I will link down below. It's just so chic, it's very comfortable. These are the kinds of things that I like to bring with me when I travel, because a lot of times, I I don't have time to go back to my hotel to change for dinner especially if i'm in like new york or something i'm out with my friends i don't want to be that person that has to change also if you're going on vacation you want things that work for multiple different types of occasions so you could wear this during the day one time and then maybe another day you wear it like out to dinner or you wear it to a show something like that you guys are definitely going to notice a trend in a lot of these items this sort of like ruched bodice with the little tiny straps like the halter neck and the cutouts just cutouts in general are very much in right now i saw these motifs being used by a lot of different brands so you are gonna see kind of like some similar styles throughout a lot of the pieces that i picked up this jumpsuit though pricey is on sale right now so i will link it down below i'm really excited to take this one on vacation the next two products that i picked up from ula johnson are a set so once again i will show them to you together i guess i really like this olive color because once again this is another olive colored set this one is very different though the fabric is that same silk that you guys saw from the jumpsuit i love this outfit this is the cutest pair of little flouncy shorts basically we've got like floaty silk pair of shorts i really like the nice little pleated detail and the buttons that we've got here they tie at the waist so if you guys want to sort of cinch the waist a little bit these are going to be a really great flattering fit and then we've got this beautiful flouncy voluminous sleeve blouse with kind of the same button detail along the neckline i think that this would look good on so many people personally i don't really like to wear a lot of shorts or short skirts because i'm kind of self-conscious about my thighs but when I do wear shorts these are the kind of shorts that I like to wear because they're high-waisted they float away from the body they kind of conceal like the widest part of the thigh and they look super feminine so I feel like these are going to work for a lot of different people I've noticed that Ula Johnson has been doing this style of shorts in a bunch of different fabrics and different colors so I did link those down below because a lot of those are actually on sale I did see this outfit yesterday in the private Ula Johnson sale so if you don't see this particular colorway on sale right now just know it's probably going to be coming to the sale and a lot of sizes are left. I really like this set. I think that you could easily buy just the shorts. You can get just the shirt. You can wear them different ways. That's also kind of the benefit of getting a set. You can bring that on vacation. You can kind of mix and match. It's just a really great combo. And then the last thing that I bought from Ula Johnson is this gorgeous sundress. I noticed that across different retailers, you can find this style of dress in a couple of different colorways. I will link them down below. Unfortunately, I think that this colorway, it might be sold out. I'll try and find it for you guys, but it also comes in a gorgeous blue. It comes in sort of a lighter tone shade as well. This is so flattering. This is the kind of dress that you could wear it just kind of out and about as a sundress, at least for me. This could just be like a regular vacation, like out in the city kind of outfit, but you also could very easily like wear this to a wedding if it's like an outdoor wedding. Maybe if a lot of people are wearing kind of floral sundressy kind of looks, I think you could pair this with a pair of wedges and you'd be good to go. You also could just wear this with sneakers. By the way, if you like the way that I've been styling these outfits, I am going to try and link all of the bags and the shoes that I'm wearing in the description box down below some of these things aren't available anymore but i'm going to try and do my best to link those all up for you guys as i mentioned before once again you're seeing kind of like this similar motif where you've got the ruche bodice you got the cutout you got the little halter neckline being someone that has a very small bust and then kind of like wider hips this is a really flattering style for me in fact in a lot of these outfits i'm not wearing like any bra any kind of padding whatsoever if i were going to a wedding or something like that maybe i would put like you know those little like sticky chicken cutlets or something to just like give it a little bit more oomph but in none of these clips am I wearing any like Spanx or anything like that I like to be comfortable guys and I like to show you what this looks like on my body without any kind of like shapewear or anything added just to kind of 
be as like realistic as possible while I'm doing the modeling shots. So that is the last thing that I picked up from Ula Johnson. This particular style of dress seems to be one of the most popular on her website, so it doesn't go on sale all that much. I did see one of the colorways in the private sale, so kind of keep your eye out. I will link whatever I can down below. I just think it's a really nice, classy, feminine type of silhouette. And even though you have some of these motifs that are kind of on trend at the moment, I don't really think something like this necessarily goes out of style. It's just a really cute sundress and a very fun print. Next up, I have two gorgeous dresses from Self Portrait. I used to go to Self Portrait all the time for occasion wear, kind of like nice things to wear to weddings, but I hadn't picked up anything from them in quite a while. Then they started Instagram advertising me. And guys, both of the dresses that I bought are the ones in the Instagram ad. Like this first dress that I'm gonna show you, just wait. All right, so here's the dress that I picked up. This right now is on mega sale. I think at first it was like maybe $500 and then now it's just over 200. So this is a really great deal. There's a bunch of different sizes still available. I didn't really need any more occasion dresses, but this was like the most Sophia dress I've ever seen. Like everything from the details, the silhouette, the color, this is my favorite color. I just thought this was the most breathtaking red dress that I've seen in a while. If you guys have never shopped Self Portrait before, they are, I believe, a UK based brand. All of their products, very good quality, very kind of substantial fabrics. They're sort of known for those kind of like lacy dresses. I'll put an image up here. I think the Azalea dress is kind of what they're most known for. I do have that dress in red. It is fantastic. I really like their stuff. Once again, we're seeing kind of like that same like ruched cutout detail. What can I say, guys? I really like this. But there's also some really thoughtful details in well. For example, there's kind of like a place where you can put your bra strap underneath the cap sleeve. So you can wear a bra with this and it sort of keeps the strap hidden. There's also this little, I don't know what to call this, kind of like this little piece of elastic here so that the sleeve kind of hugs your arm a little bit. It doesn't cut into you, but it does kind of help those little cap sleeves just sort of rest perfectly on your shoulder. For me, this is definitely more of a special occasion dress. I do like to dress up on the daily. I love to wear fancy dresses, but this is a little bit maybe too dressy for me to just like go out to dinner. If you guys have any weddings or special events coming up, I definitely recommend checking out this dress. I will mention that self-portrait, it runs pretty small. I am a UK H, which translates to a US 4, whereas in Ula Johnson, I'm typically a zero in the tops, like a double zero. So just want to kind of give you that information for reference. Mara Hoffman runs big. Ula Johnson runs a little bit big, maybe true to size. Self-portrait runs small. It's tiny. I'm pretty much always a UK 8, so I hope that helps you guys out. But most of the sites that you can order this from, they have super easy returns. If you have any dresses or outfits from Self-Portrait that you've worn in the past, just go with your regular size. I feel like this dress, it matches up with their regular sizing. The other dress that I got from Self-Portrait, which once again was in the Instagram ad, is this one. This dress looks like it's black, but it's actually a very dark navy. I like this because it's a little bit easier, slightly more comfortable, a little bit stretchier than the red one. And at first glance, you might think this is kind of more of like a dressy dress, but I actually like to dress this down. I'm, I am going on vacation in one week and for some of the days we're gonna be in kind of like a beach area. This is the kind of thing that I would actually wear out to dinner. You could pair this with heels, you could dress it up, you could wear it to a special event or a wedding or something like that. But the way that I styled it for you guys is just with like an easy pair of sandals. You can have like laid back hair, tied back in a bun, some gold jewelry, some bracelets, some earrings, something like that. That's how I see myself wearing this dress. I like the ruched detail in the middle because if you're gonna eat like a meal, if you're on vacation, when I'm on vacation, I eat whatever I want. I eat all the bread, all the gelato, all that good stuff. And I do not wanna be feeling self-conscious about my food, baby. So that ruching in the middle, it kind of creates a nice flattering shape. It hides any like bloating or anything that you might be self-conscious of. And once again, guys, don't hate me, but it's got like that same neckline. It's got that same sort of like halter cut out neckline but I do feel like these dresses they have very different vibes this dress is also on sale so I will link it down below both of these dresses you can find for a really really good deal if you wanted something that was dressy but maybe better for like a beach wedding or vacation kind of going out to dinner in the summer then I think you're really gonna like this dress you guys are gonna notice a trend in these brands that I like to shop most of them got me from Instagram advertising the next one that I want to talk about is cult Gaia these brands they send me so many Instagram advertisements and then finally I just cave and I look on their website and then game over. I like everything from the brand. I started dabbling with Colt Gaia.
Maya last year. I picked up a couple of products from their site and I really liked them. I thought they were really good. I feel like the sizing is true to size, maybe even runs a little bit big. I tend to be like a small on their bottoms and an extra small on their tops. The first dress that I wanna show you guys, I picked up on Shopbop. It is on sale and it's this really cute cutout knit dress. Let me show you guys what this looks like. Colt Gaia has been doing a lot of the cutout styles. Their vibe is very like beachy, sexy, show a little bit of skin, but they also are very chic at the same time. Very kind of modern sort of look and they do a lot of dresses with the cutouts, but the thing is with a lot of these dresses, guys, like I'm 31, I like to show some skin, but like, I don't wanna show that much skin. A lot of these dresses, it looks like, you know, I eat like one slice of bread and then all of a sudden, like I'm just very self-conscious about the dress. What I like about this knit dress is that you get the cutouts, but everything falls in just the right way where I don't feel like I'm showing any parts of my body that I'm specifically self-conscious about. I feel covered. I like my sort of chest area to be open. I feel like it hits really nicely at the waist so that it kind of accentuates my form. Although this is a knit, it's a very lightweight knit. I'll show you guys a close up right here. So you still very much can wear it in the summer. This is the kind of dress that I like to wear when it's like super stinking hot, like in the 90s and humid here in Boston or if I'm on vacation, I'm in like kind of a sunny destination because I just like, I don't want too much like on my chest i'm sweaty this is very airy even though it's a knit it's super lightweight i did try on a bunch of cutout dresses on colt gaia and in my opinion this is the one that was the most flattering especially because the skirt part kind of flows away from the body it's not too tight it's not too constricting it shows just enough skin i totally love it it's on sale you need to check it out this next product from colt gaia is a top that i posted about on my instagram as soon as i saw this launch i posted about it and you guys were like get it get that top get that top and i waited like a good amount of time before buying this and then of course it was like on back order and I had to wait like two months to get it and that is the Colt Gaia butterfly top apparently this is a part of their Colt Gaia X Bratz collection go figure I didn't know that that was the case it came in like a cute little box you guys will see right here it's got that sort of like Bratz logo I have the extra small I'm very small on the top so I usually am kind of like the smallest size when it comes to tops this top is a bit revealing but it is so flattering there's something about the shape of the butterfly that kind of perfectly enhances my figure it sort of sculpts the torso in the way and the detail on this is quite beautiful apparently all of these are hand beaded which is reflected in the price unfortunately Unfortunately, these are not on sale. Maybe it'll go on sale like at the end of the summer, but it seems like these tops are selling pretty well for Colt Gaia. The pink one in particular seems to be the most popular. This is the one that went on back order. You can adjust this just by kind of pulling the straps tight so it will kind of conform perfectly to your body. I don't have to wear a bra. I would expect that actually a lot of people probably don't have to wear a bra with this. It kind of perfectly just sort of molds to your chest. It's very comfortable. I love it. Like I didn't think that I was gonna love this that much. I said, you know what let me give it a try it does show some skin but as you guys can see when I pair these with a pair of high-waisted pants like it's not too revealing it's not too fussy it's very comfortable in fact the other product that I wanted to talk about are these pants that you're seeing me style it with these are kind of like a lightweight linen which of course they're going to wrinkle so you do have to steam them but they're very very comfortable I love how high-waisted they are these do need to be tailored like the waist is just a little bit too loose for me so I'm gonna be taking them to the tailor this afternoon just to kind of have them taken in a bit have them fit perfectly but I like that you have the little belt loops here in case you want to add like a fun and flirty little belt. I think that this outfit would be super Y2K and look really cute if you had one of those early 2000s sort of chain belts that you could kind of, you know, the ones that kind of like dangle down along your hips. I think that that would look really cute. The main detail that I love about these pants is actually right here at the ankle. These come with this really nice little toggle so you can kind of cinch them. You can leave them open if you want a elegant straight leg kind of look or you can cinch them like I did in the model shots if you want sort of like that genie pant kind of look. I like this for the summer. I think it looks really cool, really easy. I think it pairs nicely with the butterfly top. It's still the same kind of vibes. I like that in a type of product where I can sort of adjust it depending on the look that I have. These come in a couple of different colors. I will link them down below. I don't think that these are on sale, unfortunately, but all of these products I personally bought full price, so I do recommend them. I know on Colt Guy, I think you can get 10% off your first order, so keep a look out there. They also send me 15% 
15% off code. So most of these things I got with the 15% off. So I'm just kind of putting that out there in case you guys want to save a little bit of money. The other style of pant that I picked up from Colt Gaia, which are on sale, are these really pretty kind of like high-waisted strappy pants in the color Blossom. These also come in a black, which are also very lovely, but the color Blossom is the one that is on sale. So I picked these up on sale. I've been thinking about them for a while. What I really like about these, other than the fact that they're high-waisted, they do also need to be tailored just a little bit at the waist. By the way, guys, side note, a lot of times I will order maybe one size bigger. In this case, I ordered the size small, even if the waist is a little bit big so that it fits in kind of like the hips and the booty area. And then I will take them to the tailor and just get the waist taken in a little bit. That's kind of my secret to really good fitting trousers. And then with these trousers, they're made of like this really soft knit. They're not super stretchy, but they are very comfortable. It's very soft. The coolest and most notable detail on these pants, of course, are sort of like those straps and the buttons on the side. These almost remind me of like a more elevated, modern high-waisted version of like the cargo pants that we used to wear in like the late 90s and the early 2000s. I like the color. This is a bright color. I will say this color blossom, which you're seeing right here, this is what the color looks like. Online, I feel like it looks a little bit more muted. This is a really bright Pepto-Bismol type of pink. I think it looks cute. I think it looks cute with like a little white top or the butterfly top that you guys see here. Definitely check these out. Once again, they also come in the black. Okay, okay guys, hear me out on this next one. You saw how much I liked the first butterfly top. I really liked it. I thought it was cute. I thought it was super special and unique. Well, I bought the other color. Ah, I bought the other color. <laughs> This is so cute. I just love these butterfly tops. I definitely did not need two butterfly tops, but I really like the vibe that this one gives off because this one goes really well with black pants. So I'll show you guys here how I styled it. These are a pair of Colt Gaia pants that I bought last season. So unfortunately they are not available, but you could buy the strappy pants that I just showed you a second ago in the black color. And I feel like those would pair super, super well. I'll show you guys up close what the beading looks like on this one. Same exact top. Just want to show you guys how I would style this. I think having kind of like the dark tones. It definitely gives it a different vibe. I think that the pink one, it feels very summery. It feels very daytime. Whereas this is something that you could wear that's just a little bit different. Maybe out to dinner, maybe to a party. Don't recommend wearing this to a wedding. I feel like it's kind of a bold look. You are showing like quite a bit of skin, but I really like the vibe that these darker tones give off. Okay, friends. So those are all of like the clothes that I have in this fashion haul. The next couple things that I want to show you guys are actually bathing suits. I have two bathing suit brands that I want to show you guys. Some of the things are on sale. I know that bathing suits can be kind of like a tricky thing to shop for so whenever I find things that I like in the bathing suit category I do kind of like to tell my friends because it's just hard to find like really flattering bathing suits the first brand that I want to talk about is Farm Rio you guys would have seen me haul a really cute jumpsuit from Farm Rio in one of my last fashion hauls I just love this brand for summer this is another brand that like Instagram advertised to me for like over a year and then finally last summer I caved and honestly I'm really glad I did because I love their clothes they have so many options for both summer clothes but also bathing suits. Even since I purchased these bathing suits, they've already come out with new styles. And so like these current ones I'm showing you are on sale. The first one that I want to show you, again, I'm not going to like model all of these because it's the internet and I feel self-conscious wearing my bathing suits, but I do want to show you guys this cute little swim outfit because it comes with a matching sarong. One of the things that I really like about the Farm Rio swim is that not only can you buy the bathing suit, but very often they have matching sarongs and other matching accessories. So what you're seeing right here, this is the, I think it's called the cow print. It's like a banana cow print kind of bathing suit. When I first saw this, I thought that this style was like the stupidest thing ever. Like why would I buy a bathing suit that comes with these little cap sleeves? And then the more I look at it, I was like, actually, that looks pretty flattering. I might give that a try. It's something different. I don't really tan all that much and I slather myself in sunscreen, so I'm not really worried about like getting weird tan lines with the cap sleeves. This is a super flattering bathing suit if you have a small little chest like me because it sort of ties in the center of your chest right here. It's very adjustable. The cap sleeves provide a little bit of extra sun protection. And then as you're seeing me style it in this video, it comes with this really cute matching sarong. You guys know, I just love things that are super matchy matchy. Matchy. With Farm Rio, I'm typically like an extra small on the top and then I'm a medium on the bottom. I like a little bit of extra room. The bottoms for this bikini are very tiny, so I do recommend maybe sizing up just a little bit. It's kind of like borderline thong bikini, so I'm not going to wear it here on my channel. And then, guys, it comes with a matching hat, okay? One of the reasons why I picked up this bathing suit as well is because this is one of the prints that came with the matching hat. This is the kind of hat that if you're just going to like fall asleep on the beach, 
and you don't want to wake up sunburned, this is what you're going to put on. Let me show it for you guys right here. It's not like the most flattering hat in the world, but it is gonna give you sun protection. I think that it's super fun. You're just kinda like sitting there with your drink, like, mm, don't bother me, I'm all good. Just sipping your little drink like underneath your hat. You guys really need to check out the hats and the accessories. I will put some links down to those collections below. The other bathing suit that I picked up, which is in the sale, is just this cute little mermaid print. Typically, these tops, for whatever reason, maybe it's because they have the little cups in here. These are super flattering, very comfortable. I'll just show you guys, it's got these adorable like little mermaids and then these bottoms have a little bit more coverage on them you'll see like the coverage is pretty good around your hips and then like around where the booty is you get like a little extra cheekiness so i like the fact that they have a bunch of different styles their one pieces are also really really nice i have one of their one pieces from last year i will show you guys an image right here of what the one piece looks like that i think is super flattering on a lot of different body types so definitely check out farm rio they are sold at Saks, at i think shop bop a bunch of different department stores and then you obviously can get them on their own website. So I'll put all of those links down below, both to these specific products and then also to just their regular swim collection so you guys can see what they have new in for summer. Okay, friends, we're down to the end. We have the last brand here, by the way. Do we see little Minnie right here taking her little cat nap on the poof? So, so cute. Anyway, this brand is called Andrea Iyama. Have you guys heard of this designer before? Apparently she is a Nigerian born designer. I came across her designs while browsing for like summer wear on SaksFifthAvenue.com and I kept pausing on all of her designs. I don't know what it is about her clothes and about her styles. I think that the designs definitely stood out to me as something unique compared to other things that I was seeing across all of these different sites. Her designs are very creative, very different, very chic and sophisticated, but also very sexy at the same time. I want wanted to pick up some of her clothes but unfortunately a lot of them are on back order or like a very very long pre-order so I decided to pick up some of her bathing suits because they look really interesting and also very flattering. The first one I want to show you guys is actually a bikini. I will show you an image right here of the model wearing it. What I really like about this bikini is that the bottoms are very high-waisted. I'll kind of show you guys right here. The bottoms are high-waisted. You can cinch them right here in case you want like a little more coverage, a little bit of less coverage, but this high-waisted part along the waistband it's almost like this little corset that kind of like it just kind of like sucks you in. So if you are a little bit self-conscious about your midsection, this is a really great way to cover it up and kind of add a little bit more definition to the waist. And that being said, even though it is high-waisted, you do still get a fairly cheeky bottom. Like you're not gonna be hanging out like the other one from Farm Rio, but you're getting like a nice little bit of cheek there as well. And then one of the motifs that she kind of has in a lot of her tops is this underwire that she has right here. Some people in the reviews said that this kind of like cut into their sternum. For me, it's fine. This is definitely kind of like a trendy sort of bikini. This isn't the kind of thing where like if you're going surfing or you're doing a water sport, I don't recommend this. This is the kind of bikini that you wear like to the beach or to the pool to like look cool and look cute if you want something that is super flattering. Once again, you can kind of cinch the top up here. Again, refer to the image of the model if you want to see what this looks like. If you have a larger chest, this will be great for you because it does provide quite a bit of coverage. In fact, I think it'll look a lot better on you than it does on me, but I'm fairly flat chested and it still works for me. So I wanted to show you guys this bikini because I don't know, I haven't seen a design like this in quite a while, just kind of looking across the interwebs. And I think that the cut of this bathing suit will be flattering on a lot of different body types. Lastly, I also got a one piece and a very similar style. I'll show you guys an image right here. I got it in the olive green. I guess I really like the olive green. I'm really into orange, bright orange oranges, greens, bright pinks, that kind of stuff for summer. I don't really know why. I have it right here, but because this is such a like cutout sort of design, it's a little bit hard to like show it to you guys. So I will show you the image of the model. It's very similar where it has kind of like that underwire design and then it kind of comes up across the chest. This is a super flattering one piece. Once again, if you want to sort of rock that cutout trend, I think this is a really great way to do it. It doesn't cut into, you know, all of like the lumps and bumps that I have around my hips and kind of like the sides of my body i would say for the one piece go with whatever you would take in the bottoms i went with a size small the size extra small unfortunately was just like way too small for for my booty with the bikini i went with like the regular extra small or whatever the smallest size is on top and then i did a small for the bottom so i feel like it's pretty true to size that's what i would recommend but once again andrea ayama i will link her down below so you can shop all of her styles i don't know if these are going to be on sale at the moment some of the baby
bathing suits that she has are on sale but she has a lot of cute stuff very sexy very great for summer really great design so i wanted to feature this designer on my channel because i'm really excited to bring these on vacation with me all right friends that's all i have for our haul today comment down below and let me know what you thought of these styles are you thinking of picking anything up i would love to hear all of your thoughts if you like this style of video please consider supporting me by giving me a thumbs up you can also shop through my affiliate links that's a really great way to support my channel if you guys want to see a little bit more fashion content for me definitely follow me over on instagram i will put my handle up here that's where i'm kind of posting all of my like outfit of the days i'm telling you guys what i'm shopping i also let you guys know when i see things go on sale whenever farm rio has a sale that is usually where i am posting about it first so consider following me on instagram that is a really great place to connect with me on the reg and hear about all of my fashion recommendations i hope that you guys are having a fantastic day and i will see you in my next one goodbye